Okay, good morning. Final lesson before lunch. We are looking at conjunctions as our starter. We did this yesterday, and again, thinking about those coordinating conjunctions, the ones we've really been looking at. So you've got and, or, but, so, and I've even put in yet. Okay, so you've got five sentences underneath. Pause the video, have a go at putting in the right conjunct coordinating conjunction for the right sentence. Off you go. Okay, let's see how you did. For the first one, I don't go to town often. It's an opposite, but I love shopping. So hopefully you put but. Marla wanted to be a firefighter it's an option or a chef. So hopefully we put or. The rain was pouring. We put on our waterproofs. It's a result of the first thing. The rain was pouring, so it happened next. So we put on our waterproofs. So Louise was, Louis, not Louise, Louis, Louis was going to gymnastics. He forgot his kit. So here you have yet, yet and but are quite interchangeable. So you could have had yet for the first one or for this one. Who was going to gymnastics yet, he forgot his kit. And finally, Mo fell over and grazed his elbow. All right, so well done if you got those. So we've been looking at, I've, I wonder about this. We've been looking at coordinating. Now we're focusing more on subordinating. Different type of conjunction. There'll be words you've seen before, you didn't maybe necessarily didn't know that they were called subordinating conjunctions, okay? First of all, just using your knowledge of conjunctions, I'm gonna read this, the, our text to you, and you need to tell me, or write down, all the conjunctions you hear or read. Early one morning, my mother set me a task. Take this basket to grandpa's house, she said, and fetch some warm crusty bread rolls from him for our lunch. The way to grandpa's house was through the forest and the weather was chilly. So I put on my red coat and set off quickly with the basket. I tiptoed through the forest, then the leaves went crunch. My tummy gave a rumble. When will it be time for lunch? After a while, I came to a den. Out came a fox who shouted, who's there? Go away. Please may I get past, I pleaded. I need to get to grandpa's old wooden house. Oh, okay, said the fox. That's dickety boo. I tiptoed through the forest and the leaves went crunch. My tummy gave a rumble. When will it be time for lunch? Later, I came to a campfire. A snake slivered out and hissed. Why are you here? Please may I get past, I begged. I need to get some bread from my grandpa. Oh, okay, said the snake. That's simply splendid. So I tiptoed through the forest and the leaves went crunch. My tummy gave a rumble. When will it be time for lunch? Then I came to a gate and from behind the gate stepped a cat to greet me. Please may I get past, I groveled. groveled. I need to get to grandpa's house to fetch some crusty bread rolls for lunch. Oh, okay, said the cat. That's fine and fabulous. So I tipped her through the forest and the leaves went crunch. My tummy gave a rumble. When will it be time for lunch? After a while, I came to a clearing where there was a twisting, winding stone pathway. I followed the stone pathway until I came to grandpa's house. And there was grandpa waiting in the doorway to greet me with the crusty bread rolls. How many conjunctions did you spot? Okay, this, is, uh, this isn't the best text, to be honest, because it's a lot of, there's, there's and in there quite a bit, and spotted the odd so, but other than that, it's not that many conjunctions. I expect your writing, when you come to write your story, to be a lot more detailed than this and have a lot more conjunctions. Okay, so well done if you spotted and, and so, and any others that you might have noticed. Okay, so 
coordinated in conjunctions is you remember joining two different sentences together okay and we've talked about fanboys before all the sort of main coordinating coordinating conjunctions we mainly look at and but or or so and sometimes yet okay so they give an example at the bottom my cat loves having his tummy tickled but he hates getting his claws trimmed so they're two separate sentences it's it would be okay if it was my cat loves his loves having his tummy tickled full stop he hates getting his claws trimmed full stop that would be fine they're two separate sentences that have been joined now subordinating is slightly different the first bit can be a sentence on its own but the second bit after the conjunction is not a sentence on its own okay it relies on that first bit to make sense okay it's called a dependent clause in with some with coordinating everything's independent they're their own sentences they're strong independent senten sentences but with subordinating second one is a dependent it's not a sentence by itself the example here is bella repainted her bedroom that is a independent clause lovely because she didn't like pink anymore she didn't like pink anymore does not make sense on its own that doesn't that doesn't work what do you mean she didn't like pink anymore i need more information okay so because is an example is our biggest example of a subordinating conjunction there's loads more here that um you might recognize and might even use sometimes okay but have a look See if you can use any of these in your writing. Okay, the main ones we're going to look at though are when, because, and if. So for example, here, you can have your cake if you have eaten your salad. Can you create a sentence for what's happening here using if? All right, pause the video, have a go. So this, if this. Right, hopefully you've given that a go. We're looking for something along the lines of, you can play guitar if you put the rubbish in the bin. Okay, something along those lines. Right, because they need to be together to work. All right, sentences here with the missing conjunction either because or if. So your job is to put the, for each sentence, write it out, will it be because or will it be if? I had a drink of water, I was thirsty. So would that be, I had a drink of water because I was thirsty or I had a drink of water if I was thirsty? Which one would it be? Do it for all of them. Pause the video, have a go. Right, so hopefully you know that this one is because, because I was thirsty, so, so I had a drink. It was because I was thirsty. This one, blank you leave now, you will arrive on time. That one is if, if you, arrive, if you leave now, you will arrive on time. My sister ate all the biscuits. They are her favourite. Well, she did it because they are her favourite. So because. Put your hand up. You need help. Well, that's if. That's conditional. If you need help. Put your hand up if you need help. You can have a sticker. You tried your best. Well, you can, you can have a sticker, but only if you tried your best. And then we can play board games because it is a rainy day. All right. So well done if you got those move on right now we're looking at when compared to if all right so we've put the conjunctions in you now need to match them which ones will make sense so we did the first one for you we can open the christmas presents when everybody wakes up i will put my coat on if the weather turns cold you need to match the senses and create a full sentence off you go Right. 
hopefully you got Julia opened her umbrella when it started to rain. The pirates fired the cannon when the battle began. And Spain won the World Cup when they beat Germany in the final. So here you've got Spain won the World Cup. That is a sentence all on its own. But they beat Germany in the final is not a sentence because who's they? Who, who is they? I need more context. All right? Next one. You can play outside if you finish your homework. Cinderella could go to the ball if she finished her housework. Ah, gone crazy. Let me just get rid of that. And then finally, the pirate could find the jewels if he had a treasure map. Okay, so well done if those were the ones you connected. Okay. Your job now is to come up with three sentences about through the forest using subordinating conjunctions. Okay, so you've got the conjunctions here. You can come up with three sentences about you walking through the forest using those conjunctions. All right, good luck. Can't wait to see it. Year two at thepyroacademy.com. Have a great lunch. See you this afternoon. Bye, everyone. Thank you.